Over here. Lynette's not joining us today? I've had her follow Gemma and see if we can make any inroads with her. They should be at a cafe right now. Still, I don't think that Gemma's likely to open up to us. <sighs> so, we need a contingency plan. Today, we'll be looking into a guy named Lorenzo, Caesar's former pupil and assistant. When Caesar passed away, all the stolen goods discovered in his home were confiscated and returned to their rightful owners. But Lorenzo was the only one privy to all his magic secrets, and he inherited his craft. Before long, Lorenzo was the next big magician in town, his fame surpassing even that of his master, and it made him very wealthy. He's since left the magic scene, though, and these days, he's a wealthy businessman with his fingers in a lot of different pies. I had to pull a lot of strings, but I managed to get him to agree to a couple of drinks with me. Be warned, though, I hear he's got a hair-triggered temper. We'd best be careful. You neglected to mention that you were bringing two other people with you. My apologies. These two are my assistants. When they heard that I was meeting with the former magic maestro himself, they begged and pleaded with me to bring them along. Um, and if it's no trouble, a couple of autographs would really make their day. Oh, forget the pleasantries. Just sit. Get a load of this guy. Forget the pleasantries, he says, but he looks pretty happy about Lenny stroking his ego. I only agreed to meet since we're both magicians. Do me a favor and cut to the chase. I have more important things to do than drinking. Much obliged, sir. As it happens, the matter I want to address is also related to magic. Yesterday morning, a warning letter from the Phantom Weasel appeared on the entrance to the Opera House. He claims to be planning something for the same evening that I'm scheduled to do a magic show there. As such, I believe that I may well be his target. I have to get to the bottom of this to ensure that my show can go ahead as planned. Naturally, any investigation into the weasel starts with a few questions about Caesar, who... What is there to investigate? Caesar was the weasel and he's been dead for ten years, so what if some sick creep thought it'd be funny to write a warning letter? It changes nothing. Are you trying to tell me you actually bought it? Please, sir, no need to get so worked up. I do concede that a copycat is but one possibility. Possibility? It's a fact, Linny. Look, my patience is limited, so listen carefully while I'm still willing to put up with you. The weasel is dead. Period. Everyone knows that, so do yourself a favor and quit this investigation. It'll lead you nowhere. Look, if this affects your magic show in any way, I will personally compensate you for any losses. Oh, sir, I'm... Honored, really. But this isn't about finances for me. My pride as a magician is what's at stake here, Lorenzo. Copycat or not, this person has thrown me the gauntlet, and I must meet their challenge head on. Your pride? <laughs> Don't mince words with me, boy. Just tell me what exactly are you seeking to do? I want to find out the Phantom Weasel's true identity. I have to know for myself what really happened ten years ago. What would that accomplish? And what do the events of ten years ago have to do with you, anyway? Look, you of all people should know that a magician never reveals their secrets. And in any case, dead men don't talk. So if you really care about your magician's pride, then you'll forget about Caesar and move on. Uh-oh. Uh, uh this is getting awkward. Renzo? Is that? Oh, it is you! <laughs> I know that big, uh, booming voice anywhere. <laughs> What's up, my man? Want to grab a drink with me? Another day, I'm busy. Oh, come on. You can't be all business all the time. You know what they say. Live fast, die. Young. <gasps> you gotta learn how to kick back and relax once in a while. If I wanted your life advice, I'd ask for it. Now get out of my face and go be drunk somewhere else. Sorry, my good sir. I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Oh, hey! Um... Edmondo. He and I are business pals. We work together a bunch of times. 
This is your first time meeting him? Oh, he's always like this. Foul mouth and hard nose. Never heard a kind word out of this guy the whole time I've known him. Uh, and he wonders why he can't get a girlfriend. Despite being, what, pushing 40, 30, something? Anyway, point is, a lot older than when he first got rejected by the girl he was into. And... He's still into, from what I hear. Shut up and get out of my face. Another word out of you and you can forget about doing business with me ever again. Do I make myself clear? <laughs> uh, sorry, I may have had a little too much to drink. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm gonna leave. Don't work too hard. <laughs> I think it's high time I made a move as well. If you really want to investigate this, Linny, be my guest. But if nothing good comes of it, don't say I didn't warn you. Well, that fell to pieces in a rather spectacular fashion. Any thoughts? Totally! Compensating you for your losses? Why would someone you just met make an offer like that? He's gotta be hiding something. And not like Gemma. She was a little suspicious, but this guy's definitely covering something up. I think so too. We need to look into Lorenzo more closely. That guy Edmondo seems to know a thing or two about him. He only just left. Let's see if we can catch up with him. <laughs> you okay there? Uh, who are you? Oh, it's you guys. Don't worry about me. I must have had one too many. Uh, I just need to ride it out. <laughs> I say way too much back there, didn't I? Yeah, I nearly talked myself into complete financial ruin. <laughs> Note to self, no more drunken chats when Lorenzo's around. So, he was serious about threatening to cut you off? Ugh, Paimon knew he was a bad egg! Hey, 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 hey! Just keep your voice down! Don't go prying into Lorenzo's personal affairs. <laughs> bad things happen to people who ask too many questions. Or make an enemy out of him. What kind of bad things? Don't even ask. I'm sorry, uh, I'm gonna have to cut this conversation short. I'm not crossing that line again. And take it from me, trouble with Lorenzo is one thing you don't need in your life. You some flare up back there. I don't know what you said to him, but clearly it touched a nerve. That's not a good sign. You're, you're too young for this. Don't get in over your head. I'm... Whoa. What do we do now, Lenny? Shh. I think we're being watched. Someone was listening in to our whole conversation. Don't say anything and don't look back. Any altercation in the city will attract the guards. We'd better take this elsewhere. You followed us a long way. Why don't you come out and introduce yourselves? So you're Linny. And where's your sister? Ain't she with you today? Save us the trouble and go fetch her for us. Let's not drag this out. Hyman doesn't like the tone of your voice, mister! Who sent you, huh? Save your questions, missy. You ain't gonna need answers where you're going. Capiche? <sighs> Looks like we can't avoid this fight. Now, I'm not the strongest fighter, so I hope you're ready to back me up. Don't worry, we got this! Curses. They're tougher than we thought. Vision wielders are always trouble. Intimidation ain't gonna work like it did on the lady. Come on, let's scram! Hey, wise guys! We ain't done with you yet! Oh, they got away! <sighs> Did you catch what they said just before they left? Something about intimidating someone else. 
sounds like they just wanted to rough us up as a scare tactic. And they've already done it to someone else, but who? You're right. She was injured when we saw her yesterday, and she acted like she had something to hide. Maybe she was too scared to tell us the truth because those guys had threatened her. Hmm. Well, if that's the case, she should be more willing to open up to us when she learns that those thugs won't be bothering her anymore. Let's head back to the cafe and see if we can get any information. 